Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about data driven testing by using for Excel. Okay, pre previous video we can able to see there is a data driven with a JSON data. Okay, we are user right the same code. I'm going to use it into data driven as well. Okay, not much. Uh, same but previous we used for uh, JSON. Now we are going to use for data driven like uh, Excel file. Okay, we can able to save from the Excel uh, file and we can able to do it. For this, I created one Excel file here. Okay, in the first sheet, we can able to see this is our username and passwords are presented. Okay, and that, that particular user, this particular index will start with the one like zero by default but we need to read from here onwards okay oh please remember that one then after that we need to uh, handle for this particular excel uh, file uh, related stuff we need to download this particular plugin we need to install the plugin this plugin only help you to do it okay i already installed in my local and in your case you can do it for your local as well okay for your local installation purpose, you need to use for npm installation node iPhone XLS space iPhone iPhone save. Okay. Once you've done this particular installation, and we need to use for some couple of uh, predefined settings, we need to do it. From here, there is a line number six onwards. We need to do some pre uh, required steps. Okay. And before that, we need to import some packages. Okay. We need to import for this constant. And I can able to use for XL SX equal to required require uh, that is a node XLS. Okay. And then we need to use for some FS require FS. Okay. Then also we need required some path because we need to read for path from constant, right? For this, again, I'm going to use for path one. Require path. Okay, these are the packages is required. Okay, we install uh, we. What are the required packages we kept? Okay, then we need to use for on. On is the method to get the uh, reading purpose. This particular task will uh, read every time, okay? In runtime, what are the tasks? We are going to use for previous what happened, we are using for cy.get and cy.fixes. This particular functions we are using, right? Now we are going to use for our own function, which we are going to create now. In a task place, we are going to replacing, okay? Parse xlsx. Okay, and then inside that I'm going to use for there is a file path. Okay, this is a file path, and then it can comes down and here use it this one. Okay, and then uh, here we need to return statement. We need to use the return statement and new promise. And what are the promises we need to use? Resolving, resolve and reject. Both the cases we need to do. Okay. And once we're done here, we need to use for try catch block to handle the exception. In case we are getting any exception in that particular case, and we need to do for exception constant uh excel data equal to xl x dot parts efs dot read file sync okay what read file sync will do that is a file path okay and then use the semicolon and use for resolve Okay, what we need to resolve Excel related data issues we can able to resolve and catch anything we are going to get the exception we need to use it here. Uh, reject. Okay, and 
here I'm going to use a semicolon. Okay. Line number 17 and 18, I'm going to keep the semicolon as well. Okay. Remember that. And this is the name we are going to replacing by using for task location. Okay. Task location we can able to replace. And it comes to commands.json file. That commands.json file it is presented inside the support folder. Okay. For this, you can able to Cypress inside the Cypress folder. Uh, there is a support folder. Once you expand it, we can able to see for command.json file. Okay. In case if you have any method is already exist, you can copy and keep it in up. Okay, here I'm going to use it here. This is the name, uh, sorry. Parse XLX is the name. I'm just, I'm copying and pasting here. Okay, and here I'm going to use for file, file path, okay. And then I'm going to delete this one, make it return and here cy dot task, cy dot task and here I can able to paste for this particular name and using for colon a uh, file path file path colon and file path I'm passing okay this is a file path we can we are going to read into a runtime okay just copying this name okay coming to here and just I'm going to enter for cy dot which is a name we used that is a one and we need to specify the file name, which is where it is presented inside that Cypress folder and inside that uh, fixes and it is a uh, book.json file is presented. Okay. Now I'm going to mention for Cypress slash pictures slash book one dot XLSX. Okay and comma and not comma dot then we need to use the then command and here we need to create a our function and we need to create our own uh, functions uh, like uh, which is the data we are going to read right that particular data purpose okay and here i can able to use it for excel data my function because that end that excel having for complete data okay and then i'm going to read the data from excel i want to read the file okay constant row count i want to get the row count okay then i'm going to use it here here cypress dot dollar and then we need to mention for excel data and Excel, basically, it will get the some sheets, right? N number of sheets are presented. Which sheet you want to read? I'm going to read for zero position uh, data dot data dot length. I want to get that length. In a sheet zero means sheet one. I want to data. How many uh, rows are presented? That entire rows, it will give this particular word, OK? And that row, how many rows is there? That length we are going to get and we need to storing here, okay? Then after storing, I need to print that into a console. Row count, okay? Once we get the row count, we need to do for for loop. For let i equal to one, because uh, Excel index position start with the zero. I want to read one position onwards. I'm going to use for this one and row count, okay? then i plus plus multiple times i'm going to rotate then here and which is our i want to get that first row first row and value i'm mentioning okay and then i'm going to take this entire value means sheet zero i want sheet zero and sheet zero in the first row first row okay and then I want to use for this all the lines. This all the lines. This one I'll comment it. Okay. And now my value having for two rows because username and password, right? Uh, value zero index position and here also. 
value 1. Okay. 0 and 1 position. Okay. Now I will uh, run our Cypress and we'll see whether uh, we are able to read that entire file or not. Now we are able to see there is a four, four is the length. Now there is a four rows are presented. It will go and check and no problem. We'll see here four rows, one, two, three, four. Okay. And if you comes to here, see the first one is four. Okay. It is, uh, it is going to check for username. Okay. If, if you make three, and password is one two three four, and you can able to see Mercury one two three four. It took and we uh, it got failed, and means the error message is presented in that location. That's why we are going to see. Okay, it is all it it is done for all the validation. Okay, but we are not like it will do for all the values, which is a val how many values are presented, that many values it is used, and it is rotated by using the for loop okay each time it is rotated but we are not done for any validation success message or not okay the success message we are not done correct for the success message dunning purpose we can able to use it here one if condition that if condition we used here somewhere we used right yeah this is the if condition i'm going to copy in here and here my value 0 1 value 0 position and first position both the values are matching then i'm going to verify for success message for the success message purpose we can able to use for this information even that particular information also we can able to store into that uh, excel sheet also okay no need to bother about if you keep it also it will give you success message okay and json this is a wrong key one okay this is my message And this is my success. In case Mercury Mercury is equal, then you can able to verify success message assertion. Or else you can go for uh, to see for this particular error message validation. Okay, this is a my if else condition. Now I'm saving my condition or uh, my code, and now we can see here we can able to see assertion also now. Now my first assertion got passed. And it is waiting for second assertion also got passed and success message. Even success message also validated. All the three conditions, it is successfully done. Correct? Without any issue. Now, there is a one YouTube member asked me one question. Okay. Now, I have Excel sheet having for zeroth position means first position, first zero now sheet one, I have only for username. I have only username. And a second sheet, I want to keep it for another username. Okay. I'll copy this. Paste it here. Then I can go ahead here. I'll copy. Okay. Now here, my password is presented here my username is presented okay now i want to read my first this value and also i want to read this value and i want to do it for coding okay how we can able to do he asked me the question in my youtube channel okay i suggested the code but uh, whether he done the approach perfectly or not i uh, even he, he is not given any reply but still two values reading purpose i'm going to do it here okay now the same sheet one okay because we are uh, sheet is uh, file is the same but here also sheet one and also i want to read for sheet two length also correct now i can make it for here sheet one 
okay sheet 1 length okay and here my sheet 2 sheet 2 okay and here minus 1 because sheet a position it will start from 1 onwards okay sheet 1 data now here i'm going to what i'm going to do right now here Uh, here I can mention for uh, row sheet one underscore row okay sheet two dot row okay and here I am going to mention for one okay this is the first row it will go and get it and here all well okay and here i'm going to take this particular position and zero position value and here is two here is two and also here also it will start from zero because zero position value only we are going to read right for that okay now whether the both the values are matched or not now i'm going to take it here and also sheet two okay if both the values are equal then i'm going to use it for make queries successful otherwise false this is a condition okay dot only this i didn't try actually the function is not supported oh shit The both are 4 4 and you can see the values are executing okay the values are executing perfectly without any issue how many sheets and how many for loops you want that many times you can able to rotate and you can able to do it no issue if multiple sheet values so like first sheet you have username and second sheet again you have for or uh, password you want to add the similar format and you can able to use this as approach okay I hope this person uh, maybe he, he can able to watch and he can able to resolve his issue uh, and also you can able to get the same issue like in case if you want to practice more excel sheet values with the different different sheets and you need to get the value and you need to for loop this approach you can able to get it okay I hope this information help for you guys thank you for watching please do subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues thank you